any of the items here, regardless of where you're at. So the plan is, I'm just going to show you how to add a the, the video, and there's a problem with the video. You're going to see what the problem is right away, probably, if you haven't already put it in. And then um, that'll, be, that'll take us to the end of today. And then tomorrow, we'll add text and turn these in, and then we're going to shift gears into uh, a different, uh, our own project, our own dialogue scene. So, all right. So, in your fairly legal folder, there should be one video clip here that is the opening. That is the opening right here. And I don't have the volume up. Because I want to drive myself even more crazy when I'm grading your things, right? All right. So to make this feel like a real show, you can do one of two things. You can plop this at the end. So like right when you're saying, you can't throw me in jail, and maybe like kick in the music right, right around here. Or you can introduce the show and have it come in. You can do either way. Make sure that your video plug is plugged in. And make sure your the audio plug is plugged in. I'm going to put it on a different layer though, right? And I can just drag it into my timeline. I can either hit if I hit insert, it and my scrubber was at the beginning. It shoves it so that it's it's over there. It's it's, it's in the left hand side. So if you wanted it to come in front of everything else, if I just grab this clip and choose insert, it shoves everything out of the way. That's called the insert feature, right? I don't think I've shown you that ever. Have I shown you that? Um, it goes in, remember, you have to have your, your audio and your video plugs designated. Um, they have to be turned on and designated to the right track for it to work. Um, you could also just drag it and put it in at, at the end. And I'm going to also overlap it on top just a little bit there too. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Do you want to put, do you want this to be the, the teaser, the teaser scene before we get to the intro? Or do you want the intro? I don't care which way. It's in your fairly legal folder. It should have transferred in when you open it up in the in the browser. Um, but go ahead and put it in the beginning or the end. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do both. You please don't do both. I'll just skip over one or the other. Don't forget I grade you. Don't intentionally try to piss me off. All right. A couple of things here. One, uh... I probably want to overlap it a little bit, but let's first deal with uh, the scene is, let me turn that off, there we go. Um, this is ripped from the internet and is obviously a much smaller resolution than the footage that we are working with to film it, right? So how do I fix this? I've never shown you how to do this. Um, so if you double click on the video, once it's in your timeline, double click once it's on your timeline and on that video, Make sure your scrubber's over it. And you're going to go to Effect Controls. So double click on the video. Go to Effect Controls. And right here, there's something that says Scale. If I just slide that scale up, 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 up. If I click on that blue letters, the blue numbers, excuse me. And I can kind of just slide it left or right while holding, if I hold the left click down, I can slide it just so it's right about right there. I could manually type it. So 207% looks pretty good. Um, I could, so once again, I'm going to just double click it, go to effect controls right here. Ooh, no. There you go. And um, I don't need to mess with position. I could. I just want to mess with, with scale and just make that bigger. Like so. Uh, the last thing I might want to do is I might want to crossfade this. So as she's walking out, like maybe finish that last line. So I'm just going to hit, uh, I'm just going to right click and choose apply default transition. Carson, is there a hotkey for default transition? Command P, Command D. Oh, this is Command D. Because Shift D does it to all of them. I knew that. Command D. There you go. So I can either Command D just for a quick little fade. Like that. 
or I can do it at the beginning as well. So I can overlay this a little bit. I'm gonna pull those in. Beach. It's always a good idea to have the the intro and the the actual show overlap just a little bit. Is it gonna fade? Oh, I didn't fade. I thought I did it. Go back to V. Oh, I'm doing sorry. V, I said. There you go. Apply default transition. Bam. So now it kind of fades into him already talking. It's always nice to start your dialogue scenes in mid-conversation. Always. It's the greatest. You don't have to fade it in the beginning or the end, or don't don't bother doing any transitions in the middle. Especially don't do transitions in the middle of a, of a cut here. Please don't. Because transitions sim symbolize a shift in space or a shift in time. Um, so the conversation is supposed to be happening in real time. So don't use transitions during a conversation in dialogue. Just do it at the beginning or the end to kind of transport the audience out. Okay. Uh, we don't have enough time. What we're going to do tomorrow is I'll show you text. Um, just remind you of text, really. And you're going to put some lower... Lower thirds here, you're going to put edited by in your name. You'll put starring. We'll look up these stars. We'll go on IMDb and get their real names. Starring. Um, this guy's name is Ari, I think. Ari something. And then, I forget her name. I think her name's like Sarah. Sarah something. And then um, we'll just add those lower third texts, and that's it. Go ahead and save, quit, or restart. All right. So 10 o'clock, we are turning this in. What I'm doing right now for people that come in, I'm just going to give you a good half hour to work after reviewing how to do text. And actually, they're all on the side. After reviewing how to do text and how to, um, what I'm looking for text, and then how to, I'm just going to give you a reminder how to turn it in, and then I'm going to leave this screen up here, the screen that you're looking at right now. Um, what we're going to do afterwards is we're going to start learning the screenplay format. We'll start that today, and we'll finish that tomorrow. Um, but here's our dialogue scene. We've leveled everything out. We've got our JNL cuts. We have our background noise. We have everything that we've been doing. So ask yourself these questions, right? I'm grading you. Do you have the basics of back and forth dialogue? Do you have at least three reaction shots? Are the majority of your cuts hanging edits? Meaning it's not cutting right when one person's speaking to the other, right? You either linger it a little bit on the person listening or you linger it a little bit on the person that just spoke. Um, you've leveled your audio nice and even between negative 6 and negative 18. And you've done color correction shot by shot. And you got some lower thirds text. Notice I didn't even put the putting in the, the trailer. That was just for funsies. All right. So text, right? I want you to imagine like this is actually a show, right? So if we're actually watching this, don't worry, I have the volume down. Right? Oh, you tuned in, right? And what normally happens is they don't give enough credit in the opening and usually there's contractual obligations to kind of put producers and, and whoever doesn't get covered in these things needs to kind of still give credit in the opening because it's in their contract it's in a union agreement all sorts of stuff so I do want you to claim yourself as the editor um, if you want to claim yourself as the producer or you can start making up names or if you wanted to go to IMDB does everyone know IMDB IMDB.com you can actually look up names, right? IMDB.com, and you can go to, let's see, what was it called? Fairly Legal? Fairly Legal? Boop. There's our show right there, 2011. Wow, that was seven years ago, right? And it was starring, it was starring Sarah Sahai and, not Michael Truco. where's the dude? Where's the old dude? See, full cast, fine. Gerald McCraney. He's also like a, he ran for office or was a governor or something. He did something in politics for a while, too. Gerald McCraney. He was on Law and Order for a while. Um, so, <clears throat> here's what we're going to do, right? So, all I want you to do is do lowered third text. I don't want you to do fat in the middle, very like in your face text. I want you to do nice and styled lower third text, right? So remember, once you kind of get the style for one, you can just copy and paste it. So I'm going to immediately, right here in the lower thirds, boop, just type in. So I hit T down here, or I can press T, 
or I can just click on this T down here. It's the same in Photoshop. It's the same with all those other applications. Click T here, and I'm just going to type edited by, and then, oops, colon, and I'll put John Jambula. You put your name, of course. Okay. And that's not stylistically cool, right? We're dealing with normal font and normal white text. It's actually hard to read it there. So the couple of things you want to do, outlines, a contrasting outline usually really helps. And then normally what they do also here is they kind of give this a style, right? Usually like edited by might be all lowercase, my name or the, your name might be like all caps. So do try to give it like a, a style for the show. If you wanted to go back and look at, try to match the font here, you could go for it, right? This is bolder, this is skinnier, right? You can kind of try to do that if you want, or you can just kind of come up with your own style. Um, I'm going to do right justified because it's, that's, that's, it feels right justified to me a little bit. Let's I'm gonna drag it over here. Uh, it's a little big. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Remember, it's just going to settle. And you're not going. Did you go smaller? No. Go here. I'm gonna select it all. There you go. Now make it go small. Something like that. Let's change our font type. Sure, I like that. Let's make John Jam Bruno bold. Oh, that that's one doesn't have some fonts don't have a bold option, but it's all caps. What I might also do is make this a color, make them different colors. So the top one, I'm gonna make a, you know, I'll go red. There you go, and the bottom one will be that, and I'll actually inverse it with the stroke. So edited by, I'll give it a stroke of white. Oh, white's good. That's what I said. Whoop, too much. Maybe something like that. And then this guy, this guy, me, I'm going to give that an outline. So I want something a little bit more than just white, plain white text. I want to see that you're, you're thinking about it. Put that down. Yeah, it's probably a little too much. That's okay. You get the idea. I don't want to go on and on and get edited by John Jan Bruno. The other thing I might want to do is add a transition just to the text. I can either do a cross dissolve to have it fade in, or I can do something a little bit more animated. So you can add transitions, and this is where I like transitions. I often make fun of transitions, but I like transitions on graphics and effects and pictures and B-roll. I actually prefer transitions instead of just a crossfade. But the traditional stuff usually just like crossfades, right? So I can go video transitions. I can find something that I really like, like I might try a... A slide. Let's see. Can, will this push? I'll do a push slide. I'm going to put it on the edge here. Right there. How's that look? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'll do a push slide at the end. It should go off to the right. I can always change the direction if I double click on just the transition. It lets me change the direction and all that, the duration and all that, but that looks good. All right, once I kind of get a style I like, I can add a few more just for funsies to kind of really give it the feel of that show. So we hit paste. Oops, remember to copy and paste stuff. You have to designate with these blue dots here. So remember your plugs were on the left hand side. The right-hand side is where you do copying and pasting and a few other things that happen there. So now I have that paste zone selected. Now when I hit paste, bam, right here. And I'll be like, this time, I'm just going to say starring. And then, boop. And then, what was her name? Sarah Shahani or something like that? Oops. Sarah, what was it? I'll look it up. Shahi. Shahi. They were both on Law and Order, actually. She was a, a, a female lawyer, on assistant district attorney for Law and Order. And he was the real district attorney, not at the same time. There you go. You got a little Hollywood trivia for you. Boom. And that guy was named Gerald something. All right, that's it.
if you wanted to add a few more, like produced by your mom, you know, directed by your butler, whatever it is, right? Um, if you wanted to have fun with it, but I do want to see at least your lower third with some style, and I do want to see that you've copied and pasted it, so that you know how to do that. Um, transitions you don't need, but uh, I think they look good. And that's it. When you're all said and done, you're going to export it. You should know how to export things now, but in case you don't, you're going to go to File, Export Media. And people often forget, how do I rename it again? It's by clicking on those blue letters right here, Output Name. And we're going to call it one underscore dialog. You don't have to use the UNE. Cracked underscore your last name. Someone got really mad at me one year for having no U and E back there. They were, they were, they were very, they were future English teachers. And I was a former English teacher. So they were like, why wow, you should know better. Anyway, and then I hit export and I'm done. I'm gonna drag that into the submit file and I'm good to go. So I did say, I, let's say I'll, I'll give you till Oh yeah, 55, no, I'll give you till 10 o'clock. You got a good, solid half an hour uh, to work on this. If you're done, done, you can start thinking of either, you can either start writing your dialogue scene. Um, we are going to have to format it, but you could actually start writing out your own dialogue scene, brainstorming your own dialogue scene, or looking up movies, looking up dialogue scenes that were posted in Canvas, uh, doing quote unquote research for dialogue scenes, uh, if you finish early. But I wanted to give you a good solid half hour of us doing this and just kind of making sure that you're perfect and caught up and you know what I'm grading you on. And I just wanted to give you some time to process and be done. Questions? Oh, call it Pract Dialogue, not Dialogue Pract. I'm sorry. That's it. I had it renamed wrong. <laughs>